it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am so excited to be testing out the Gigi Hadid collection from Maybelline. I've been seeing this all over social media and I finally was able to get my hands on it. So thank you Maybelline Canada for sending it over. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my first impressions and I decided to recreate her LA Glow look. So I use a lot of the products, but I also use some of my own makeup favorites to make sure that I look as similar to her as possible in the photo. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. I really, really love it. And stay tuned to the end if you wanna see like my final thoughts and my top products from the line that I think you should definitely try out. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And if you're not following my Instagram, be sure to head over and hit that follow button because I will share some more of my favorite products over on there because I don't go through the entire collection today. So hopefully you enjoy and let's get started. Starting off with this Gigi demo and tutorial, I've applied some Loving Tan already for that LA Glow, and I've been using my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow as a base every day before the rest of the products. And now for the first Gigi Maybelline product I tried. From the initial reviews I watched, there seemed to be a lot of confusion for this product because it says tinted primer, and this is in the shade light slash medium. And as you can see, it's quite a few shades darker than my skin tone but this is on purpose. So the idea with this product is that you apply on areas that you're going to contour, but underneath your normal foundation, and it will help give you a sculpted contoured look. It's an extra step, almost like a liquid bronzer in my opinion, and I actually found that I did photograph really well. So at first I was like, what am I doing? You could screen cap this and say I seriously don't know my shade, but it did help with blending the cream contour I used later because I didn't have to go from my super light foundation to a very deep contour. We have that middle bronze to help blend it out. And then I went in with my favorite L'Oreal Lumi foundation right over top in a sheer layer. And now to add some highlighting, I used my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in a couple shades lighter, bringing this down my cheeks, my chin, nose, head, jawline, beneath my nose, and then just blending away with my beauty sponge. Again, these face products, the Lumi foundation and Too Faced Born This Way concealer are two of my top picks that I've used for quite some time. And while I'm still on cream and liquid products, I'm bringing in Urban Decay Shape Shifting Palette and I'm taking the deepest cream contour shade and really contouring out those cheekbones for a model-esque look. And now for more Gigi products. So I tried out both of the illuminators. This is the Maybelline X Gigi Hadid West Coast Collection Strobing Liquid in Gold. Again, on the back of my hand, this looks super dark for me, but it does blend out and is very sheer, just a pretty gold. I applied this to the high points of my face to see how it looks, and this is a really pretty subtle highlight. They do call it a strobe, but Maybelline already has the chrome highlighters like I used in my Maybelline Mermaid look, and that has some serious strobe to it. This is more subtle and to me more Gigi, so I think it works. I also took the gold illuminator and this makes a gorgeous body highlight to accent a tan. I'll for sure use this for this purpose again, especially next time I'm out in LA. I think it looks really gorgeous. I did miss a spot to blend in right where my collarbone is, but let's ignore that for now. And I have set the contour and blended out one more time with my favorite medium toned bronzer from Benefit. This one is the Hula Light. And here's the second illuminator from the Gigi line. This one is from the East Coast Glam. And this liquid strobe is an iridescent shade. And it wasn't what I was expecting, but I was really pleased by it clearly. This adds a gorgeous yet subtle pop of pink to the skin. Um, if you blend out too much, I find you do lose the iridescence to it. So I played with it on the skin and I found it was easy to blend and it wasn't a thick formula. I tried this over um, my face and I'd already powdered it and it didn't appear cakey or separate. And I also used this mix into my foundation the day after and loved it as well. So I really love this one. And we're going to move on to the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid eyeshadow palette. This is the warm golden tones inspired by the West Coast. First shade I'm picking up is this orangey copper and I'm applying to the inner and outer corners of the eye like I noticed in her promo photo. These shadows are pigmented, easy to pop on, not a palette with a ton of fallout, which I appreciate. And I took the lighter muted pink shade on a fluffy brush and tapered out into a slight V. And then I'm also, um, running this under my bottom lash line. Picked up the mauve neutral shade and I'm bringing this up through the inner socket and up towards the brow bone about halfway to add some contour and define the eye. 
I decided to put down a base for the highlight and this is the gel liner in Nude and these are incredibly creamy. I was really pleased with this liner so I applied in the inner corner right on the brow bone as well as on my waterline and if you see a funny mark on my nose, uh, I had a little dry spot that clung to my self tanner so hopefully <laughs> that doesn't bother anybody but sometimes I'd rather have it slightly imperfect than try to put too much product on the skin. But anyways, I went with the mauve shade and I'm applying it to the inner portion of the under lash line too. This is a really pretty shade that I think looks great as a lid color that really picks up nicely with the golden and copper flecks to it. The highlighting shade in this palette I also applied over top of the gel liner and I actually found that this shade was pretty golden too and I wasn't expecting it to be so gold. It's really pretty, the shadows blend together very easy but the shade wasn't too different from the other golden copper in the palette so I decided to add more contrast to get Gigi's look and I re-highlighted with the new gel pen and this really brings a pop of brightness. I started to experiment with this to see if it would highlight on the skin and I thought it looked quite pretty as a settled nose highlight too. Lash shadow in the West Coast palette is this deep plum and I applied under the bottom lashes and on the upper lash line for a thicker looking uh, lash bed. And in the promo photo there wasn't a lot of liner, there was in the East Coast glam look which I love as well, I'll have it up on screen. Here I'm using the East Coast collection fiber mascara in black, first to use the black mascara wand and coat the lashes. And then you take the fiber side and build this on top so you can see how it has white fibers. And then you recoat the lashes and this is going to extend the length and the volume. I think my lashes looked really good and this was just with one coat of the mascara. Uh, I think this is a beautiful mascara for every day if you like to coat your lashes and spend time on them. I personally am pretty low-key with mascara so unless I'm wearing falsies, I usually just do one coat of a quick drawing mascara but if mascara is your thing then I think this is a cool one to try out for bold separated lashes. Looking at the photo of Gigi I decided to add out some tapered false lashes. These ones are for MAC and you can keep the lashes with mascara of course but I wanted to get that sexier cat eye shape like Gigi and fluttery lashes that get longer at the ends help give me more of an almond shaped eye rather than round. A cool tip if you want smiling eyes is to dot the liner slightly upwards past your bottom lashes and then I have some of the nude liner on my waterline extended upwards too and this gives the illusion that the eyes are tapering up especially with the lashes. Hopefully you can see what I mean by that because it is pretty subtle, I'm just trying to give new tips in every video. And now for the bold red lip. I didn't have the liners from the Gigi collection, we are a little more limited in Canada because the collection isn't even out here yet and I'm applying one of my favorite MAC lip liners to get a similar shape. Just overline your top lip but keep the co keep the cupid's bow and uh, then slightly fill in the lips. Love the smell, love the texture. I did a video swatching the Maybelline Inti Matte Nude collections and those lipsticks are some of my favorites that I still pick up but this tube has a similar formula so it's matte but not a drying matte it's very comfortable to wear but it does have a bit more moisture to it which I personally love for every day the reds are pretty similar so here's a look at them next to each other and I'll have listed below the color description if you're ordering online but I personally went with Austin and it's one of my faves If you picked up one of these lipsticks from the collection, let me know which shade you chose in the comments or any of your thoughts on the collection as well. To complete this Gigi inspired look, I blended in my falsies more, did a bit of separation with my Gigi mascara one more time. And I wanted to add more of a beachy texture to the hair, so I just took a texturizing spray and slightly teasing and texturing the top layer of the hair as well as a tease on the crown. Using a couple bobby pins to sweep it backwards and I kept my hair just how it dried naturally so this was a really low key look in that way. And I was thinking about this look and I don't think I've done a bold red lip with a tan and messy hair, usually I do something a bit more retro and polished. So I feel like this is a really pretty modern beach babe look still incorporating that bold red lip and I love how it turned out so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And if you recreate this look or pick up any of the GG products, tag me because I would love to see how you're rocking it too. And stay tuned if you you want to hear my final thoughts on the collection. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Usually we get to about a thousand likes. Let's try 2,000, see if we can do it. And now for my top picks. So first up, for sure the li liquid illuminator. This one is in the shade iridescent and it has a gorgeous pink sheen to it, but it's not super cool toned. This I think would be flattering on everybody and something rare. I didn't even wear blush today. Usually I pile on the blush because I love that really pretty pink 
fresh look but with this I just pat it over my whole cheek area and I got that color I wanted but it's more subtle and super dewy so this I think is beautiful and would look gorgeous mixed into foundation as well next up the palette I really like this one I thought the shades were very blendable pigmented and of course because they all are similar in shades you're not gonna get a super dramatic look but something very fresh and soft unless you really play with this dark plum shade but overall I think this is a beautiful everyday palette now this gel liner is one of my all-time faves but it is in the shade nude and this picks up really bright and that's what I used again for the highlight on the brow bone and inner corner and again I loved the gel liner in the black this is creamy lasts a long time and I just had a really easy time gliding on these lines and last but not least the lipsticks honestly all six of the lipsticks are beautiful and I can't wait to wear them like every day so this one is um, one of the reds that I tried on this is the shade Austin and I love them they're very easy and comfortable to wear they have a nice smell and overall I think the packaging is really pretty and very GG so let me know what you think of this look and of the products uh, if you've tried any out what, what are some of your favorites um, if you recreate this look be sure to tag me because I'd love to see you in it and again you can check out my Instagram if you want to see um, just more photos <laughs> I'm sure I'll test out some more products and you'll hear updates on my insta stories so thanks for watching all the links will be listed down below and I will see you in my next video